In lesson seven, the students learned about associated ratios, the value of an associated ratio, and how it can help you to solve problems. I'm gonna do this problem to help um, the students understand this more. John wants to paint his house dark red. He bought 12 gallons of dark red paint. He started and thought it was a tad too dark, so he went to the paint store and they suggested to mix one third a gallon of white paint with two gallons of dark red paint to lighten it up a shade. How many gallons of white paint does John need to buy? Well, he bought 12 cans of dark red paint. I'm gonna do a white to dark red ratio. The paint store told John that for every one third gallon of white paint, he would need two gallons of dark red paint. This is a value, this ratio can help us to solve problems, okay? Because if we look at this, we can scale this up. If John bought in total 12 gallons of dark red paint, we scale two gallons of paint, we can scale that up by multiplying it by six, okay? Whatever you do to one side of a ratio, you have to do to the other. So I'm gonna take one third, and I'm going to multiply it by 6. This is going to go back to your elementary 5th uh, grade fractions. I'm going to put a 1 underneath the 6. I'm going to multiply the numerators. I'm going to multiply the denominators. This is 6 divided by 3. He is going to need 2 gallons of white paint to help him lighten this up a shade. To see if we're correct with this problem, I would love us to look at the values of the, re the ratios to see if we're correct. The first one, when you do the value, you make a fraction. So this first one would be one third over two. This probably looks very confusing <laughs> to a sixth grade student, but if you think of a fraction as a division bar, this is telling you one third divided by two, okay? You can keep the first fraction, change division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction, which we'll learn later. But the value of the first one is 1 6. Now the second one, if I make that into a fraction or a ratio, okay, and simplify because they're both divisible by 2, I get 1 6 as well. So I know the value of the ratio is 1 6 and it helped me to solve this problem.